remember. And so I'm in my kitchen uh, with uh, Steve DiFilippo and Rodney Murillo from uh, Davio's, obviously, and uh, in our kitchen. And we're already starting the cooking of the sausages. Couldn't the wait. I'm so hungry. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. I got up so early so today. Good. You know, it took an hour and a half to get here, just so you know. We, we, we picked a snowstorm to come down here. It's fantastic. But your new but, partnership with uh, KM. KM, yes. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. We're also just going to talk about... Uh, obviously, your empire, which I know you don't like to okay, say, but no, I know. Okay, but yeah. it's it is you know you you're you're far and abroad now. Right. You know you're. Well, we are. You know we are coast to coast. Yeah. yeah which is right? kind of cool. Yeah. Which I. Well, you can say I'm that now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so Boston's your home. Well, ZZ Top is a song called <laughs> "I'm Bad, I'm Nationwide." So you know I'm bad now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you're bad. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> I already knew you were bad. Yeah. <laughs> Both of you Hopefully I'm good, but I'm bad. But your, your restaurants now, you're like yeah. Atlanta, and yeah. you're in um, Philly, and you're in New York, and now yeah. the one in Brandy California. actually came back from New York 4 o'clock this morning. Yeah, yeah, this plane was only about eight hours delayed. Only about eight Close hours. Coast to coast, it's great to travel now. Let's <laughs> go. Uh -huh. so, so anyway, so KM, it's kind of a great story. So I get this call from Motive, and Motive is the people that design our packaging, right? Yeah, he calls yeah. me up one day, this guy Dan, and he goes, Hey, uh, uh, Bill, actually, Bill. He goes, uh, Steve, I got this sausage guy. He wants to talk to you about maybe partnering with your sausage. Oh, your didn't even sausage. name him? Yeah, <laughs> sausage. Like I said, <laughs> and I said, you know, Bill, yeah. I go, you know, I get these calls all the time, you right. know, because of our products all yeah. the place. I go, I, I just don't have time right now to meet with another guy and yeah. help them get going. And I said, I, I just can't do it, right? He goes, okay, no problem. You know, I'll tell him. I said, by the way, you know, who was it? Yeah. He goes, oh, it's KM. I go, it's okay. KM? <laughs> you didn't tell me it was KM. I mean, they're like a legitimate company. Never yeah. mind, they've been around for 100 something years. Exactly. I said, I go, I'll meet with KM. No yeah. problem. You know, because they already, you know, I didn't want to start fresh with a new company and, you know, it's a yeah. pain in the neck. So. But you got your local boy there. Yeah, so, right? so we met with KM, who's from Wakefield, Mass., which I'm from Linfield. It all worked and out aren't great. Aren't they the uh, sp um, official sponsor of the Red Sox, too? Yeah, yeah. Hospital? Well, Matt Moskowitz is the chairman and basically his family owns the company. Yeah. He's a fantastic guy. So yeah. we've had a great relationship. We started with our regular sausage, our house sausage, and we have a hot sausage, uh, and then we have a sweet sausage. So we have three sausages that are in all the stop and shops and Peapod, yeah, no, which, which is pretty cool, so right? right to your house. So yes. just like I awesome. you guys yes. got delivered to my house, yes. I also can have uh, yep. sausages yes. delivered yeah, by we, people. We, we, Go yes. on and get on the website. Yeah, so, I do it all the time. But it's Stop awesome. and Shop, you know, they have all the three brands. But what's really cool, in January, we're starting a chicken sausage. Uh, and the chicken sausage is Awaken 180 approved. Now, okay. Awaken 180 oh, so that's is a uh, weight loss program mm -hmm. here in Boston. And actually, there's five locations around the Boston area uh, that I've partnered with and I'm uh, the spokesperson with. And I also lost 30 pounds with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a great thing. So the chicken. I need chick that too. The yeah, oh, I forgot about <laughs> the 30 pounds. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I know. So, when he walked in, yeah. I was just like, woo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awaken 180. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, the chicken yeah. uh, is a healthier choice, right? It's, so it, uh, it's, it's great sausage. It has no sugar. has uh, no dairy, uh, no carbs, obviously. Do other so sausages generally have dairy and Yeah, well, sugar? yeah, cheese. A lot, of, a lot of them have cheese yeah, in it. Yeah. Sugar. Sugar, sugar is the sugar, biggest yeah. thing because yeah. sugar is a preservative. So in the yeah. food vinegars, which is sugar. Mark, I don't know vinegar, if you know so this, but sugar is not your friend. I know. Okay? I know <laughs> you love sugar. Yeah, so we try to keep sugar out as many things as we make because today we yeah. have very little sugar in what we're making And today. when you don't eat sugar for a while and then yeah. you just have like a raw almond, you're like, wow, this is so sweet or yeah. something like that. And you realize yeah. how much your taste buds are being fooled by this sort of a refined fake sugar. And that naturally, like carrots have a lot of sugar and yeah. corn has a lot of sugar. Well, I didn't. I sugar. didn't drink for six weeks when I first went on the program. I didn't yeah. have a glass of wine, nothing, yeah. you know. And I remember that first glass of wine I had. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, you know I got to tell you, I didn't feel very good. Yeah. You know, I didn't feel very good when I started eating desserts again. I said, you know, it, it yeah. just or carbs, you know. So I really just try to limit it. And I try to. Yeah you know, eat a lot less carbs, you know, and I think that's really the healthier but way. But hard to be in a restaurant industry where you guys yeah. are, you know, obviously butter and salt yeah. and well, all that. We have but you, you, we you have, have a new menu. So we have actually, have, we have an Awaken 180 menu now in our restaurant, which yeah. has, it's about 25 different things you can choose from. It's fantastic. Oh, you awesome. know, and there's no dairy, there's no carbs. Yeah. Uh, you know, a little, like butter actually is a good dairy. If you're yeah, going to yeah. have a dairy, yeah. uh, Better butter. Better than a hydrogenated oil. Type yeah, like fresh food. butter, five, six tablespoons a day is actually pretty good yeah. for you. Now, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't but no. Drink, don't I'm gonna get my spoon. Butter. I'm gonna be yeah. having my like. Take my, a spoon my, with your coffee in the morning. And a tablespoon <laughs> with your toast without bread. I, just, and I wish we had smell TV because these sausages <laughs> smell so they good. Do. So let's get about, cooking let's, here. Let's talk about that 180 for a second. Oh, though. Sure, I yeah, just yeah. want to know. So it's awaken or awake? 
Awaken. Awaken, Awaken 180. Yeah. So the 180 means right. you're just changing your life, right? Yes. You're just like, you're yes. not See, going 360 back to your the logo old right habits. Here. You're right. going 180. Here's the logo right here. So you awaken 180. So, so this the people who do this, like purple, like, do they, is that okay. like a foodie color or did you, no, you no, were no, part of No, the purple is Davios. Like, that yeah. is our color. As you can mm -hmm. see, a book that we happen to write, it's called yeah. It's All About the Guests, is purple. Yeah. Our Davios wine is, so yeah. we, it all started uh, with our seats in Boston, uh, in Arlington Street. Our seats were uh, purple. Uh, and you know, it's yeah. so funny though. And then we go and open an Irvine. You notice the seats aren't purple anymore? I just yeah, noticed no. that the other day. I was like, who changed the purple off the seats? Yeah, yeah. So we need to get back to the purple seats. Go back to the purple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. back to the purple. Yeah. But that, so that book, I know, that's yeah. about your, like, a, your philosophy and your well, whole Well, it's a like, Davio's way. On. It's a Davio's yeah. way. So what it is, it's, it's a book about the 30 years of, of our restaurant. And then I tell a lot of stories. Uh, and there's also 12 recipes in there, too. Oh, cool. uh, but I, what I do is I kind of tell you the do's and not to do's. Uh, you know, and it's all about service. You know. In my opinion, it's about hospitality in the restaurant business today. And, and also, when you go to a store, I mean, think about, you know, we don't get the hospitality that we once had right. back, you know, when you're, we were younger, you know. And uh, so that's kind of what I talk the about. The social you know. lubricant, the hello, the, the please, the thank you, right. the how are you today. Yep. When we were just in filling in France, that's what they were saying. They were saying, if you don't yeah. say bonjour to every single store owner, right. they're going to just think you're the devil. Like, you need yeah. to yeah. just start with a beautiful, yeah. like, yeah. welcoming. Yeah, well, so I always thought, you know, the food is important, yeah. obviously. We're, we're, yeah. You know, we're, we love food. I'm a food guy, you know. But you know what? You, if you go in a restaurant and you have great food and bad hospitality, you're not going back, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah. So in a way, the hospitality is more important than the food, which right. I hate to say that, but it is kind of true. Yeah, they should have given your son the, the penne pasta. Yeah, exactly. You know that story when I was in Italy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know that story with Max? I know the story. Five years old, they would not let him have penne. He had to have spaghetti, and yeah. he did not eat it. I, I that was that mean. was like the worst little what? lunch That's of such my a life. Small thing what? in terms you of hospitality. Back that I know. He didn't go back. I haven't gone back to Italy. No, I just, 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 just out of that place. That's for sure. All right, can yeah. we we gonna start cooking here? Oh, start cooking. All right. I knew you were here. All right, so we have these are the chicken sausages. All right, so we put these in the pan. That's the new one. That's the 181. A lot of time when we're making television shows. Uh, I use the parallel, you, you'll, you'll hate me for this, but I use the parallel of you don't want to see how it's made. It's like sausage, like TV, yeah. you know, it's like all different parts and yeah. you don't want to see, but you know, you should, you should say that to uh, me because our sausage actually is cl really clean. I, I mean, that, and that's what I'm know, learning, it, so I'm not going to really, use yeah. that it's, metaphor it's, anymore. It's really yeah. amazing. Well, it's, it's, what's in it, you, you can, you can yeah, it, it, all the yeah, it really, it's really, really, really clean. Who it, has their glasses? By the way, <laughs> I, I can't really. Chicken, <laughs> our, uh, chicken peppers, uh, paprika, red pepper flakes, salt, vinegar, lemon juice, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. And pork casing. Yeah. And, and the so sauce, yeah. So that's the thing, you know, <coughs> it's all natural, by the way. Yeah. All, all right? Yeah. It's all it's natural all and natural. fresh, too. Yeah. And all over Stop and Shop and Pizza. Never been frozen, yeah. Imagine that. So. Yeah. And no antibiotics. It's yeah. really good stuff. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> what what I do is I take yeah. the, the pan, right? Yeah. And I cook the sausages like this so they get nice and brown. Look, see this? This is so nice. Right, and then then I just start taking the vegetables. Now these are all going to be great vegetables, really healthy vegetables. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I would look at this and I say, okay, what's going to take the longest? Okay, I would probably say the cauliflower, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, so cauliflower I, I would, definitely. So I would take the cauliflower and I put, I put, yeah, I put the cauliflower, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the cauliflower, and then I put the onions in together and kind of let them sit for a while. Yeah. You know, the last thing, you know, you want to you want to do things last, like the asparagus. I'll probably do last. Yeah. Uh, well the well zucchini, done, a little last. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to keep because it's just gonna, yeah. you know. So then, you know, we add some eggplant, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, and then you, you know, can you can turn the yeah. heat up now, right now. Yeah. So you know what I'm gonna do? You know what, what I do a lot is I do all this on the pan, right? And then I throw the zucchini in. Okay. Uh, now, do you then, garden or just have no time? I mean, how I much are garden, you traveling? No, I don't garden. Um, and how many nights are you? Well, I don't know why you would garden when you have a stop and shop. You know, you go to we garden. Yeah, we garden when we go get it. Yeah. And then we and then we get to look at it and pick it. So what I do is I I do this. I put it on the pan, right? And then get it all in here. And then I actually. Kind of like stir fry. What kind of mushrooms do you have here? Those are just um, king oyster mushrooms mm -hmm. right now. They're right. really good this and time then, of the year. And then, you know, I would add a little salt. Okay, I always get a little pepper, salt. And then yeah. in the pepper. Now, this is what I do. I actually take this and I put a little oil in it, right? Oh, yeah. Just a little. Now, is that uh, okay. extra virgin olive oil? Yeah. Olive oil? Yes. Yeah, just a little, right? Just to kind of get it going. Then, I'm going to take this and put it in the, in the oven. Really? Yeah, we put it in the oven, yeah. So not even like halfway even. No, not even. that's it. Um, really yeah, now it's good. Free yeah, dish. that's I mean, it. Now I just throw it in the oven. Yeah. All right. Gorgeous. So we'll just throw it in here. And that's it. We're that's done it. with that. So you put yeah. it in the oven for what? Like the 25 minutes or so. 25? Yeah, 350, 20 minutes or so. Yep. 25 minutes. 350 uh, is pretty safe. Yeah. And then that's it. Yep. All right, that's so it. now we're going to go and we're going to make a, a pasta with our regular sausage. We're okay. going to do our house sausage. So you definitely want to brown the sausages on the stove before yeah. you... You know, and, and, and that's also, grandmother's pan. This is my grandmother's pan. This pan is probably 
I don't even know how old, 70 years, 80 years old, when, when, my, when my mom, um, I mean my dad, his mom passed away, you know, she lived in Providence, Rhode Island, oh, and yeah. uh, so my father sold the house, it was a three-decker house in Providence, right. so my father sold the house, and so we invited everyone down to come to go through the house and take out what we wanted, right? So we go down there, you know, and I have relatives taking out like the beds and the couches and, and the you know, all, all this stuff, <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, it was a, not a really yeah. great house, but, yeah. you know, so I go in there and after one thing, and it was the first thing I walked, it was the first time I've been in that house my whole life, yeah. and I was in my mid-30s when this happened, and it was the first time that this pan did not have any food in it on the stove. And I just, oh. I don't know if I walked in this, <laughs> she had been dead for a couple months, right? right? Uh, maybe even six months. So I go and I, I see the pan sitting there and I was like, oh my God, there's Nana's pan. That's the pan that she taught me how to make stuff. You know, my mom, she taught me, this pan has to be like 80 years old at the time. Yeah. So I just grabbed the pan and I walked out and I walked down the <laughs> crickety old stairs and I go outside and my dad's out there and he goes, that what are you doing? <laughs> I go, I go, dad, th this is, this is it. At the time, I think we had three, three Davios at the time. I said, dad, this is it. This is how it all started, this pan. Yeah. And he looked at me and he goes, he thought I was crazy, yeah. you know, because everyone else is taking out really valuable things, you know. Yeah. And I said, well, what's no. value? That's well, to me, this is, you know? was it, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. And, I, and it was so, you know, I finally got all emotional. It was, it was yeah. like an incredible moment. So I always say now, do you think those people that had all that stuff in 30 years, 25 years ago, yeah. have any of that stuff? You know, but I got this pan. Yeah, you you know? do. And I use it all the time. I, I love this little pan. Yeah, so you're a little yeah. sentimental. I yeah. mean, you're a family guy, obviously. Yeah. I mean, how do you even like balance your family life with like your crazy like QVC? Is that all all nighter? Yeah. Like, well, I don't. Where do you go? I, like, yeah. Well, it's, it's crazy. You know, like my time crazy. But now that my uh, it's been kind of cool that you know my kids are in college now, so yeah. it's a lot easier to travel. Right, and my yeah, wife exactly. travels with me more, you know, well, so fun. it's yeah. been it's been good, you know. Um, it was really hard at the beginning, you know, and I didn't really travel as much then. Yeah. You know, now it's different, you know. As you know, with children, uh, if they're around, it's kind of hard to travel, yeah. you know, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna brown these up, yep, and then we're, yeah, and then we're gonna cook some ready. pasta. We're gonna do some fresh pasta. You know, Davio's, we make our own fresh pasta. This is fresh fusilli. You know, and by the way, at our restaurant, we don't just make the pasta fresh. We actually cook it fresh. Yeah. And I think a lot of restaurants don't do that. I think I did that. that with you one time. Yeah, I restaurant. think we did that. Yeah. And so I, was, I think I pretty much tasted one right out. Yeah. So you know, because yeah. you know, you can a lot of restaurants cook it ahead of time and then they dunk it to be quick. Oh yeah. We don't do that. Up. We you know, if our pasta takes a little bit too long when you come in, it's because we're cooking it fresh for you. Yeah. It's good. So now we got the water boiling pretty well here. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm just going to take the pasta and just get thrown in here. All right. Uh, we lost Rodney. I think Rodney went off in the car. Uh, Steve okay. DiFilippo cooked yeah. on this this pot. I'm gonna oh, yeah, sell, right. sell it yeah, for sure. millions. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm sure. You can see it coming now. Sure, I'm probably gonna break it before <laughs> I leave. So this pasta cooks really, really quick. Yeah. You have to be really, really careful yeah. uh, how quick it cooks. What are you doing here? So we're gonna. So you can you can start. You can yeah. just do uh, olive oil. Yeah, we're gonna do a little olive oil and uh, spinach. Uh, yeah. Do that. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Yeah. You know what I love too is uh, Swiss chard when it's um, just a tiny bit wilted with a yep. little tiny bit of uh, yep. feta. I love arugula yep. wilted just a tiny bit. Yep. By the way, you notice I didn't use any garlic. I'm not a big garlic person. Oh, no? You know, There's some no, on there. no, because. You know, it's this thing about Italians. When you, you've been to Italy, yeah. you know Italians don't use a lot of garlic? It's an American Italian thing. Oh, really? Well, yeah, we, you go to Italy, they use very little garlic. And so uh, I don't really use a lot of garlic when I cook. I find garlic kind of takes over. It takes. It Definitely just, has it, a presence. For yeah, sure. it, it really. So I really don't really. I don't really think you need to use much garlic. Oh people. yeah. So you always use your pasta water yeah. because yeah. what? There's yeah. some. Uh, what's in there? Some sort of gluten in there? Like what? What? Why do you use the pasta water? Uh, well, it helps thicken the sauce. Yeah, yeah because yeah. definitely. You the, can the, see how yeah. the butter yeah. is going to make a nice sort of kind of like a gravy sauce when you do that. Yeah. He's going to add the pasta Ooh, water right now. Good. Yeah. Add yeah. a little bit. Make a nice little broth. Yeah. yeah. It's very simple to do it. Yeah, we'll you brown the sausage now, so once we add yeah. the sausage uh, to it... Just add the sausage fun. in here. Look at that. I mean, by the way, this is just so easy, you yeah. know. <laughs> so so we're just going to, you know, see how that just came together really yeah. nice. Yeah. You know, obviously the sausage, you know, I didn't cook it all the way. It still has a little redness. Little Are you redness throwing of, that in the oven, too? No, no, no. I'm going to okay. take the pasta. I'm going to throw it right into this all pan. Right. But the sausage, you don't want to overcook yeah. them too right. much. So you want them to be just, just cooked perfect in the middle. That's why, again, yeah. you get the nice brown on the outside, and you get the nice... 
moisture in the metal. Now is that pork sausage? Pork sausage. This is a pork sausage. So at yeah. one forty, what's the temperature? Do you have to measure 165. it? One sixty-five. One sixty-five. Yeah. So yeah. put a little bit of the pasta. Yeah. I've just killed all my dining. Um, yes, please. People. Don't be serving <laughs> one forty-five <laughs> sausage. You don't want to. Yeah, yeah. My whole yeah. dinner party's now gone. So yeah. you can just see how how that just came together. Yeah. So good and so simple. Yeah. Right. And then. By the way, don't put the cheese till the end, because if I put the cheese yeah. in too soon, okay. it's just going to stick to the pan, and then the And pan. obviously, any kind of pasta, but the best yeah. is fresh. Yeah, Do you we sell like your pasta. fresh pasta from no, the restaurant, too? No, we no? don't. No, we don't. Not yet? No. No, you know, that, there's so many people sell pasta. It's kind of a tough market to get into. You can oh. always throw it. That smells good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't use this over here, Rodney. I thought I'd throw that in, I thought I'd throw that in at the end. All right, so yeah. all right, so then we just kind of this in the pan. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you, you got this? Yeah. Right. Cam. Cam. And so they, they and so you finally obviously did talk to. Him. Oh, I finally <laughs> met with them. That's for sure. And what they <laughs> did afternoon? is they came. They came work, worked worked with us at the restaurant. You know, Jaime and Antonio, who've been making the sausage for 30 years at Davio's, uh, they came and uh, worked with us, and, and it was about a year process to go through, uh, and it worked out really well. You know, they they copied our sausage and. Uh, we're very happy with it. It's, it's coming out really well. Beautiful. It's now, selling great. Too. Were those family recipes too, those sausages? Or uh, well, the house developed? one, you know, my, my grandmother used to make sausages. My mom used to make sausages. But we've changed them over the years. And uh, so it's, you know, we say it's my, my grandmother kind of inspired us to do a lot of stuff. But we've kind of changed things. Like like the meatballs, right? She made the best meatballs, you know, it's veal beef and pork. But instead of just using regular burger, we use Kobe beef. So right, we've kind of changed things over the years, you know, to kind of. And your meatballs there are just. They are fantastic. Right. So that was it. See a little cheese it. on top? Yeah. Right? I like. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, well. All right, you start with the sausage, eh? Mm -hmm. Great. That okay. sausage is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. The pasta's great. A little sauce, a little butter. It's just very clean. Butter, yeah. Mm. And the thing about sausages, too, that people, for some reason, always think that you have to eat sausages with, like, red sauce. Every time you do sausage, people think, you know, tomato right. sauce Drown and peppers and onions and, mm -hmm. you know, the rigatoni and bacon. It's just, or it's just or they think they have to grill them on the stove. Mm. I mean, uh, outside, mm -hmm. you know, on a grill. Mm -hmm. You don't have to grill them outside. We just did it in the pan. Yeah, and how long did that I take? It took, it took nothing. That, yeah. I mean, so, that's a great, like, working parent. And that was live. We just did We're that live. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it is. And no it's, dinner party to put on. It's just <laughs> pasta in my kitchen. That's awesome. Right. It's like <laughs> sausage, I think that over the years, mm -hmm. like you said earlier, it has built this bad reputation of, like, you know, like, you, you don't know how it's made. Right, exactly. Uh, What's the know? mystery ingredients, right? Right, right. That, the obvious sausage yeah. is all natural meats. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you can read the ingredients in the back. There's nothing but the chicken. Right. The spices yeah. and salt and pepper. Yeah, but by the way, no, they're fresh too. They're not frozen. Yeah. It's always yeah, you fresh. Said that. That's yeah. awesome. Isn't it great? Yeah, the frozen uh, this yeah. takes an element away from it. Yeah, yeah, this is delightful. Do we get to try your other one too? Yeah, let's yeah, do that. Well, <laughs> cook, uh, slice it up. And another another herb that I discovered that goes great with sausage too, because we always tend to use those strong herbs like rosemary and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, but I've been using tarragon with sausage yeah. lately, and it's just got that just. Just fresh it's tarragon. Very, it's just I fresh. love it with yeah. chowder, too. Isn't that they, great? Tarragon yeah. is great. It's yeah. kind of like, it brings you like the fennel. Because wow. there's fennel yeah. seeds yeah. in sausages. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you use tarragon, it resembles that. So it gives you that clean Isn't it flavor. so great that you yeah. go to a store and buy fresh herbs year-round? Right. You remember when you couldn't do that? I do. I mean, I remember... Especially when you, tarragon. You, you well, tarragon, tarragon I never saw. <laughs> hardly ever saw. I mean, I remember basil. We used to have to make our pesto in August and September for the year. Yeah. And we would freeze the bottles and everything. Now it's like, you don't even have to do it anymore, you know? When I used to work uh, for PBS, I used to do the cooking show, and this woman used to take her herbs from the summer and yeah. put them all in ice cube trays. So she'd take a little bit of basil, put it in a, yep. like, nice. fill up her smart. ice cube tray. Very it's smart. Before you could get it at the market, right? Yeah. So, you know, this is just kind of a... Pretty. What a great day for something like this, too, right? With the snow and the rain and the... I know. Yeah. What happened? It just went from all of a sudden summer all of a sudden to go up to New England. Yeah. So you can see how everything just braces, you know. Mm. So quick too. It's one of those issues that, mm -hmm. and you don't want to overcook the vegetables either. Yeah. You want to try to keep those nice colors, mm -hmm. but. Um, yeah, I get the bright colors, and that's the. This is the 180. Awaken 180. This is the 180. Yeah, that's, that's the 180. Delicious. Spicy. Mm. And, and you notice how. It through, right? but, mm -hmm. but do you notice how? Wow, I love that. How soft it is, right? Yes. It's, see, that's the thing. When you cook a, a sausage on a grill, yeah, they get all like dried out, and you know, th this is so soft. Mm. I mean, it's amazing, right? I know. Nothing worse than a dry sausage. I know, I know. exactly. 
Um, <laughs> that's delightful. And when people yeah. think that's of really good. Massage, such as they think that, you know, ah, it's just dry, always, always. Um, the other thing that people think is like, it's like a mousse inside. Right. It's yeah, just all we'll, whipped. Look at this. Can yeah. you get that? <laughs> you can see you can see the peppers. You can see the chicken. Yeah, yeah. the, the, you know, the spice no, is that. really nice. Okay. Yeah. That uh, KM. Mm -hmm. How many hot, hot dogs they make? Oh my God! You should see the numbers <laughs> that they tell us right the now. Make, like, he he can make a million sausages in one day. A million yeah. in a day. In one yeah. day. Yeah. yeah, they do a million hot dogs a, a day. day. Oh, not frozen. And yeah. Just yeah. No, that that right. place. That's it's right here in Massachusetts. Too, right here in yeah. Chelsea. They also have a plant in Woburn, but you know it's a family-owned company. They they really care about the quality. You know, it's it's just a. And I'm honored to, that we're with them. I mean, yeah. it's such a great thing. Yeah, yeah. It's really worked out They good. were meant to do business together because mm -hmm. both of the business addresses are 75 Arlington Street. Yeah. Oh, really? How well, funny is that? Well, on the first meeting, they sent, me a, they sent us a meeting and said, we'll meet at 75 Arlington Street in yeah. Boston. Yeah. And then their people said, oh, no, no, that's our address. Uh, you know, <laughs> in Chelsea, I said, no, 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 that's our address in Boston. Like, it was it's it's this little, like, who's on first kind of moment. It was really funny. It yeah. Was, it was, uh, it was yeah, but these vegetables came out great too, right? Nice. Yeah. Notice we didn't blanch them, we mm -hmm. didn't put them in water. All we did right. was no, throw them in the pot. No, asparagus is nice, perfect, right. perfect. Well, I mean, and, and this I was mean, live cooking. I expect that of you, obviously, but no, no, I, no. <laughs> no but <laughs> <laughs> you said it earlier today. This is such a meal for a parent, mm -hmm. and this is why we've been trying to say that people think that sausages are a tailgate and things. The sausage yeah, right. set up a, a ballpark thing is not. No. It's, it's a great source of protein. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, you don't have to break a bank yeah. right. to feed a family, and then it took just healthy vegetables in the oven for 20 minutes, and you and you're done. Well, Sometimes even for my my right. college son who has a, a little sweet and on sweet. Yeah. I mean, this is something like a college boy right. can do. By the way, obviously. So right easy. here. Okay. So easy. You see this here? Look, yeah. look at how much you get here. Look at this. I'm taking this off. Yeah, six sausages okay. here, right? How much do you think this costs at Salvation? This is five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. That's less than a yeah. dollar or something. Yeah, I mean this is yes. absolutely <laughs> incredible because it, when you come to Dom's, mm -hmm. it's twelve dollars for, for, for like one. You right. know what yeah. I mean, so, I mean you know, so yeah. this is pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a heck of a deal and it's a really good quality. Yeah. The only difference they don't have, have you coming to their table and because you know, you're what, what call you're, me. You're, you're, never you're in the know. back room I and might, the front room. I room. might <laughs> be in the area. You never know. All right. It's true. You don't have an office. You're just like always. You know, I I, sit? I don't have an office and I and I and I really find that kind of funny because. When I talk to other restaurateurs who have, you know, a couple of restaurants, oh, yeah, I'll call me at the office, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. why do you have an office? What do you do with the office? Like, you know, your office should be your restaurant, yeah. right? I don't care what business you have, your restaurant, your business, yeah. you should be in your business with your employees and your guests. Yeah. You know? Well, that's so. that personalization that obviously has yeah. has made you a success. So thank you for yeah. coming to my well, home. Well, thank you. Thank what, you what's your bottom line? Can I come as, back as next as year and <laughs> swim? I don't think we're swimming today. Yes, can no. Can you swim out there, by the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, you can. Oh, right it's there. gorgeous. Wow. All fresh because it comes in and out. You know, it's tidal. It's tidal, so and right so, out to Boston Harbor, right out to. So uh, mm -hmm. the water is fresh. So yeah. that's. Oh, so when it comes in, cool. it's it's clean as everything, water. clean yeah. and fresh. So we should get invited here in the summer. Yes, yeah. we'll do some stand-up paddle boarding after we make <laughs> some we sort of something. Some something. Yeah. Well, that's what we do all the time. We have a, we go up to Gloucester. So. Awesome. Anyway, thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, thanks we'll see you soon. Okay. Again. All right.